Hi, friends. It's Deanna Williston from Our Blooming Catholic Life. Today, I don't know about you, but I had a monster headache. Um, so what was I doing? I was sitting here listening to my AM Amen app. It's a free app by the Augustine Institute. And I found a new podcast that they had attached. It's not new to them. I just had been missing it. It's the Floriani Chant School. You can see there's several episodes there. So this is the one I, I picked. It's a little older, but it's the Ave Regina Chalorum. And why that special is... Um, these two young men are going to, through telling us stories, both about the composer of the piece of music and and just even little moments from their own lives growing up, they're going to tell us about this beautiful Marian Antiphon that we sing during Lent, and they're going to teach us how to pronounce it in Latin. They're going to go over the English meaning, and then they're going to start teaching it to us little bit by little bit. And then they put the little bits together and then we end up singing the first half. Then we work same process for the second half and putting it together. And they want to remind us that, you know, back in monastic days, um, they might pray this after they prayed compline. Some people call it complete torium or night prayer. But the monks would pray this together. That office, that hour of the office, they would pray it together pull their hoods up as they went down the hallway to their cells, you know, to their own bedrooms, they would sing to this. So this is like Mama Mary singing you off to sleep, which is a lovely concept. We were taught this concept before at a Women of Grace Benedicta retreat up at Malvern, Pennsylvania, Malvern Retreat House. And Father John had taught us, um, we prayed our, our night prayer, and then we walked over to a statue of the Blessed Mother. And he says, this is a beautiful practice with families. You can have hooded bathrobes for your youngsters. And if you have a statue of Mary, you can go over, you know, sing this. Then you put your hood up and you quietly, there's no more speaking after this at night. So it's a lovely practice to teach your littles, but also to help you create even a bedtime routine. It is wonderful on many levels. It, on the spiritual level, absolutely lovely. Um, and it gives your kids that, but that bedtime routine that will stay with them. These are young men talking about this and that they grew up doing this and they would go to the room and that was their silence. That was the start of the bedtime, right? The wind down. You knew it was time for bed. Slow your mind, not going in and checking your email quick. None of that. It was, it was done. That was all done when you prayed your last hour of the office, sang your Marian hymn, off you went to bed. What else was I doing today? You're going to be surprised. Look, my Lego orchids are starting to bloom. I don't know. They're, they're going to be blooming any day now. It's very exciting. <laughs> um, and, you know, I got a number of Lego botanicals for Valentine's Day, so they're getting put together slowly. And, and why is this all tie in? These are little things that we're doing even as the priests in the Old Testament had to go in and purify the temple and the people had to renew their religious fervor and practice. And that's something that we're called to do again and again. And I know we just finished Lent and people are like, ah, oh, I did that in Lent. Did you? Did you really? Um, but we always need to be growing to the Lord. So let's get in here. We were already reading. Let's see if I can say it today. Second Paralopamenon. Second Chronicles, chapter 29, and we are at verses 10 through 16, I believe. I believe that's where we are. Now there, oh, we didn't say our prayers. Do you have your journal, friend? We have all of our prayers in here. We should always, always, when we're reading scripture, start with prayer. So we're going to make the sign of the cross. We're going to say St. Francis's prayer that God may use this practice of Lexio Divina um, to help us grow. And at the very end, we're going to do the blessing of Brother Leo. So, in nomine Patris, et Filii, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Sume glorioso Deus, illumina tenebras cordis mehi, et da mihi fidem rectum, spem certain et caritatem perfectum, domini ut facium tuum sanctum et verax mandatum. Now, therefore, I have a mind that we make a covenant with the Lord, the God of Israel, and he will turn away the wrath of his indignation from us. My sons, be not negligent. The Lord hath chosen you to stand before him and to minister to him 
and to worship him and to burn incense to him. Then the Levites arose. Ah, we're skipping all their names here. And they gathered together their brethren and sanctified themselves and went in according to the commandment of the king and the precept of the Lord to purify the house of God. And the priests went into the temple of the Lord to sanctify it and brought out all the uncleanness that they found within to the entrance of the house of the Lord. And the Levites took it away and carried it out abroad to the torrent Cedron. Now, therefore, I have a mind that we make a covenant with the Lord, the God of Israel, and he will turn away the wrath of his indignation from us. My sons, be not negligent. The Lord hath chosen you to stand before him and to minister to him and to worship him and to burn incense to him. Then the Levites arose. Mathath, the son, I did it again. I'm sorry, friends. I'm going to read verses 10 and 11, and then we're going to jump down to 15. Why are we doing this? Um, because they list all their names, and it's difficult for me to say. So we're just going to say their brethren. Now, therefore, I have a mind that we make a covenant with the Lord, the God of Israel, and he will turn away the wrath of his indignation from us. My sons, be not negligent, for the Lord hath chosen you to stand before him, and to minister to him, and to worship him, and to burn incense to him. Then the Levites arose, and they gathered together their brethren, and sanctified themselves, and went in according to the commandment of the king, and the precept of the Lord, to purify the house of God. And the priests went into the temple of the Lord to sanctify it, and brought out all the uncleanness that they found within, to the entrance of the house of the Lord. And the Levites took it away, and carried it out abroad, to the torrent Cedron. Now, therefore, I have a mind that we make a covenant with the Lord, the God of Israel, and he will turn away the wrath of his indignation from us. My sons, be not negligent. The Lord hath chosen you to stand before him and to minister to him and to worship him and to burn incense to him. Then the Levites arose, and they gathered together their brethren, and sanctified themselves, and went in according to the commandment of the king, and to the precept of the Lord, to purify the house of God. And the priests went into the temple of the Lord to sanctify it, and brought out all the uncleanness that they found within, to the entrance of the house of the Lord. And the Levites took it away, and carried it out abroad, to the torrent Cedron. Oremos. Benedicat tibi dominus et custodiat te, ostendet dominus faciam suum tibi et miserator tui. Convertet dominus voltum suum ad te et dominus bonus det tibi pacem in nomine patris et filii et spiritus sancti. Amen.